right, for our uh, real-time tiller repair, parts came in today. Um, the dumb thing was, is since we couldn't tell, we went ahead and ordered these because they said washer seals, so we thought they might be some seals. So we paid $3 each for some washers. So anyway, if you guys get to that, just go to Home Depot and find some washers that fit that pin. Um, new spring, the spring, this spring does feel a little bit more uh, give than the old one. The old one, you have, it really just, it won't, it won't compress. So that, that should make it shifting easier. Um, so we'll put the new spring in and then the new gasket and we'll be ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and put that back together. Um, it's kind of the starting point here, right here. Um, I'll kind of take a couple of pieces as we go along. Uh, the easy one is this one because it's attached. So uh, you know where he goes, right there. And then this one is the other easy one. Um, and then the rest are just pieces. And we we'll find a diet. We're going to kind of try to go from the parts diagram and then a photo that we found on the internet. Uh, the parts diagram is great except for all the little lines and numbers makes it a little bit hard to see which uh, pin they go on so stay tuned we'll be back in just a second to show you the next few pieces put together and we'll go along and then we'll pause on a pretty good video photo of that for a minute so that everybody can have a good you know feel how it goes to back together There it is. Best way to go. Uh, start with the block, which is uh, the shifter. Um, it's the one that's connected to the you know, forward, reverse, reverse with, or forward with tines. Um, the block goes, the little lip that grabs is on the bottom. The next is to the, the gear that moves up and down. It slides up and down that shaft to go into reverse or whichever gauge. Um, it goes with the, the lip on the bottom and engages with the block. Um, then next is the reverse gear, we think. so. It's a uh, one cog and that's it. Um, and it basically just goes and fits in there. You, you'll see how it goes together. It's like a puzzle. Uh, then we move up to the, uh, the, bottom gear the, the bottom gear only. That's the one we had to kind of go back to because we had the... Uh, he's down in there. Yeah, he's down in there. So you put the, the bottom gear, then you put the big plate. It's another big gear that goes to the small chain. Um, and then you can put the other two and the big chain on and that way you'll fit them all together otherwise you won't be able to get that one in there because it's a large gear underneath the rest and uh, that's it so all together now we just need to go get some grease and slap it all over in there um, I have a little bit back there but um, I think I'm gonna get the marine grade just because I like the blue and then we'll put the new gasket on and put him back together and test him out Sometimes it just it's like it doesn't. Makes it kind of hard to see with that red on there. 